Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show how to run i square SE sample from the NRF32 SDKs. And as you can see I've already opened the example of i square S. Um, if you want to open a solution, you can basically um, go to this folder. This is the SDK rule folder and then there is uh, examples and here you can find a lot of different examples the BOE and the peripherals uh, what I'm using because I'm mm, planning to do the audio project so I, I'm interested in i um uh, peripheral so in here basically you have the i squares example from different boards um, what I'm I'm already copied it out to a, another folder here, which is the same. So I'm gonna just show open from here. And this is uh, basically what I have opened already before. And this example is really simple. It's basically using the I square um, peripheral interface to send out some signals and then also um, receive the signal and then compare the result so um, you can see as it is, it's um, trying to check the samples and if we can if we see where to um, where this check sample is used so it's basically here so when it's uh, receiving the, the data it's trying to check the samples and if the sample is wrong then it will blink the LED of um, of the data and then if it's correct then it will blink the LED of the L-link so um, then uh, to run this sample properly we need to have an other uh, connector which connect the pin of uh, output and input and we can see in the application here so this is um, uh, this example is specifically for the board of the um, um, 52 uh, 3, A32 but uh, in order to let it work for this board we need to make some modification um, in the board you can see here there is um, uh, unused uh, GPIO pins we can we can use that and basically it's um, it's a GPIO pin from 2 to 7 so we, we just uh, map it to um, map the, the pins from the 2 to 7 so you can see here I have modified a little bit to say the SCK pin we put it to 0 2 and then the LRC, uh, LRCK, so this is um, also somebody call it word selection, so it's for the left and right channel. And we put it to O3, uh, which means it's, uh, yeah, it's the, the first two pins. So basically here, yeah, the first two pins. And then we have the SD. Uh, the data in and we put it to 4 which is the one in the middle here and then we have also the out pin it's 05 05 it's the one in here so after configure that um, we should be able to good to go but of course we have also want to use the UART in order to see the output uh, apart from the LED blinking, we want to see the output as well. So what we can do here is also uh, we need to customize the, the pin as well. So let's look for the lock. Because this is... Uh, yeah, we are using the, the locks from the um, UART. So we want to um, look for the pin because the pin itself also need to be defined. It. Uh, let me see. So 
was TX pin. Yes, okay. So this is basically the uh, NIF log backend. We say the UART, we want to have the log backend as the UART enabled to 1. And then the output pin is um, put it to 18. So the in this board, the UART output is um, connected to pin 18. Um, with this modification, we should be good to go. So what we can do is we can um, rebuild the I square S project. Then you can see the output is actually uh, under is generated under this folder. Uh, one thing to be noted is that uh, because we have already put the bootloader, uh, the other fruit bootloader into this device. Therefore, the starting ad address um, is modified. So what we can do is we go to options, we go to common, and then we have uh, um, here the linker, and then we st we need to set the value here, the flash start to zero, ox two six zero zero zero. This is um, dependent on the soft device we have because we also have. The uh, soft, uh, soft device 6.1.1 version 1.3.2. So um, if we look at the the web, um, we can see the we, we can see the uh, start address of the web and the RAM. And with these two values specified, we should be able to good to go. And then okay, because uh, we have already built. So what we need to do here now is we need to use the uh, UR to upload the firmware. So the, actually the, the bootloader, because the bootloader is already inside, so we can say first convert the application. So we use Adafruit as before, and then we put it to our, um, our generated file which is uh, this one it's uh, the same as the as this one and then we say yes and then it generates the uh, dfu package and after that if we want to upload then we can use the command as i as i showed before in the previous video and we can say i square s and then before we hit enter we need to first press this uh, reset button and then the blinking will be uh, in different pattern and then right after we click on reset we can press on enter so let's do that so now you can see the firmware has been loaded and you see the light is blinking which is indicating there's an error that's a big uh, because we don't connect the input uh, and output pin but we, we can uh, look at the output in order from the UART in order to see if it's correct so what I'm gonna do is um, you can use uh, any serial um, terminal so I would in my machine I have it in the TTY USB 0 and the speed needs to be set to 115200 and after we set that we can say open and then you can see here on the screen we have an error which is corresponding to the output in a code here so there are something wrong so extra sample is not the same as uh, expected sample so what we want is we want to be okay so what we can do here is we have this uh, small connector and we can connect to the pin that we assigned just now so it's a 4 and 5 yeah. so after we connect you can see we already getting the OK now which is what we expected and if we remove and you can see the, the LED is also blinking on the other uh, correct ones so and we can also remove that again then we can see the error comes and the blinking LED is on the wrong one so yeah this is straightforward and 
uh, we just need to have some customization on the settings of the board so yeah I hope this video helps you and if you have any questions uh, just let me know in the comment I will um, use this board later to connect the um, uh, microphone and speaker so yeah I will upload that later okay thank you for your uh, viewing so enjoy see you next time